Hello everyone, welcome to Prillbook. In this video, we will have a look at shortage management production order through purchase requisition. We will cover the following topics in this video. Fulfillment of production order shortage through purchase requisition. Execution bomb line shortage against production order. Redirection to purchase requisition record from shortage record. Cre completion of requisition. Allocation of purchase stock against shortages created, fulfillment of shortages and completion of production order. To start with this video, we will be creating a shortage record through production order. To create a shortage record, first we need to log into Brillbook. Here I have already logged into the Brillbook with production user. The production user is the user who having access to create a production order and create and submit the purchase requisition against the shortages created for the production order. To create production order shortage navigate to the production menu group expand the production menu group and click on orders here you can see the list page of production order now i'm going to open the already created production order here i have already created a pro and plan the production order now I am going to open that production order record. Here you can see the production order detail page. Here on this production order I have filled the mandatory and required field of this form to create this production order. Then after creation of production order, I am approve this production order and plan this production order. So here you can see the production order status is in planning. Now our next step is to schedule this production order. For that click on this schedule button. Here you can see the production order status it changed from in planning to inventory check and the inventory reservation status is partial that means our shortages are created for this production order. Now I am going to check the created shortages for that navigate to the execution bomb field click on the execution bomb hyperlink here you can see the execution bombs details page now I am going to check the shortages created against the bomb line navigate to the shortages tab click on shortages tab here you can see the created shortages against that production order and 
here you can see the outstanding quantity of these shortages. Now our next step is to create the purchase requisition for these shortages. So navigate to the inventory menu group, expand the inventory menu group and click on the stock shortages menu here you can see the list page of stock shortages and here you can see the some stock shortages status is active select this stock shortages is in active status and click on create purchase requisition button here you can see the stock shortages status it change as in progress for all those selected stock shortages record now I am going to open this stock shortage record to check created purchase requisition click on that record Here you can see the detail page of stock shortage and the outstanding quantity and planned in a quantity in the requisition. Here you can see to check the created requisition against a stock shortage, navigate to the requisition tab, click on the requisition tab. Here you can see the stock the requisition created against the stock shortage. Now our next step is to submit this requisition to manager for approval. Open this requisition record. To submit this requisition, navigate to approval. Before that, add the per unit price and vendor if required or as per your requirement. Here I am going to add the per unit price as 120 and select the vendor as Allied Suppliers Limited and then click on approval button and click on submit button to submit this purchase requisition to manager. Here you can see the purchase requisition status it changed as submitted to manager. Now I am going to submit all the created purchase requisition to manager. 
in the same way. Yes. Now, our next step is to check the status of all the created requisition against shortages. For that, navigate to the procurement and click on the purchase requisition menu. Here you can see the all the created requisition against shortages are in submitted to manager status. Here I have added the per unit price for all this requisition and here you can see I have added the vendor to all this requisition. Now our next step is to approve and process the purchase requisition. We have already created a separate video for the completion of purchase requisition. You can refer the purchase management video for the processing the requisition. After completion of the purchase requisition, now our next step is to check the purchase requisition status created against the production order shortage. For that, navigate to procurement menu and click on the purchase requisition menu. Here you can see the list page of purchase requisition, change the query as received requisition. Here you can see the list page of purchase requisition with received requisitions record and here you can see our created purchase requisition of 9 quantity for light supplier limited vendors are marked as received. Now, our next step is to check the status of created shortage against that production order. For that, open the purchase requisition record. Here you can see the purchase requisition detail page. To open the stock shortage record, navigate down for the purchase requisition page. In the related details section, here you can see the stock shortage field. Click on the hyperlink in the stock shortage field. After click on the hyperlink of stock shortage field, we will redirect to the detail page of stock shortage. Here you can see the plan requisition quantity is 9, approved requisition quantity is 9 and outstanding quantity becomes 0 and the stock shortage record status is fulfilled. Check all the stock shortage record status as fulfilled for that navigate to the bill of material 
field and click on the hyperlink present in bill of material field. After click on that link, we will redirect to the bill of materials detail page. Here you can see the execution bomb detail page. To check the all stock shortages record status, navigate to shortages tab, click on the shortages tab. Here you can see all the stock shortages record for 9 quantity mark as fulfilled. After that, navigate back to the details tab and click on the production order record. Here you can see the production order details page and the production order status is marked as inventory check and reservation status is marked as reserved. Now our next step is to complete this production order. To complete the production order first we need to complete the created operations. For that Navigate to the operations tab. Click on the operations tab. Here you can see all the created operations. Select all the created operations and click on schedule button to schedule these operations. Here you can see the all the operations are marked as scheduled. Now our next step is to complete the all the operations with the help of mark complete button. For that select all the operations and click on mark complete button. Here you can see all the operation status is marked as completed. Now our next step is to complete the created production order items. For that navigate to the production order items tab besides the operations tab. Click on the production order items tab. Here you can see all the created production order items. Now. I am going to select all the production order items and with the help of mark in progress button mark those all the uh, production order, order item status as in progress. Here you can see the all the production order item status is become started. Now produce 
all the order items for that select all the items you can select 1 2 3 as like the items whenever they are complete and complete the process to produce the item here I am going to select all the items and click on mark produce button Here you can see all the production order item status is marked as completed. Now I am going to check the production order status. For that navigate to the details tab, click on the details tab. Here you can see the production order status is marked as production completed so in this video we had an overview for shortage management production order through purchase requisition starting from creation of shortage record creation of purchase requisition against production order shortage submit those product uh, created purchase requisition then we check the completed requisition which is marked as received then allocated stock against created shortage and how to complete the production order in this video thank you